Let's you do heard. your neighborhood. I want you to come to he spent his entire adult life as a D.C. police officer. Chief Robert Conti was born and raised in D.C. and became a police cadet while in high school. He was sworn in as chief one year ago this week. But there's another side that few get to see, a more reflective side. It's all of those things, be it poetry, my, my, my faith, um, uh, just you know, my, my reading when I'm, when I'm not here, um, and I'm just things that I'm focused on, all those things are really kind of lumped into who I am. And I believe that it allows me to better lead our police department, uh, stay connected to communities, and still be dad, still be husband, still be father, son, all those things uh, to family members and, and my, my life outside of the Metropolitan Police Department. Yes, Chief Conti has spent a lot of time over the years reading poetry, and he's been known to recite poems to other officers as a way to drive home a point. Conti told us how poetry helps him to cope with tragedies like the senseless killing of a six-year-old girl. Young Nia Courtney, gone too soon. Six years old, gone too soon. And I think about that minute, if she had not been on Martin Luther King Avenue, maybe a minute before, might she still be here? That minute is a reference to a poem written by noted Baptist minister and civil rights leader, Dr. Benjamin Mays. It epitomizes where we are in life, uh, where I am as a chief of police, I have a very narrow window. You know, I've been in this department for a long time. And in the time that I've been here, uh, as that, that, that window, you know, begins to close on the sunset of my career, man, it feels like a minute. 2021 went by like that. Since he mentioned the sunset of his career, I asked how long Conti wants to be chief. I'll stop when I get tired, and I'm not tired because I just woke up. That was a quote from one of Conti's favorite movies. So I asked Conti if he'd share a poem with us, too. <laughs> I've only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I abuse it, give account if I lose it. I've only just a minute, Mark, but an eternity is in it. And that is so important, man. We have a short period of time. We only have a short window of time. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. And you can see more parts of uh, Mark's interview with Chief Conti on the NBC Washington app.